plastic. It's in your food, your clothes, your water, even your blood. You don't see it. Plastics are better than any other material. Plastics are being used to such an extent throughout the world that we may well ask what was used before its discovery. Whether that is the light weighting of vehicles, the next generation of mobility, the energy efficient homes that we all deserve, particularly at a time of high inflation, those materials that make that happen will come from plastics. But every day, piece by piece, it's invading your body. From the bottle you drink out of, to the clothes on your skin, to the air you breathe, plastic has become so common, we don't even question it anymore. You know, doing things like stopping hunger across the world, preserving food, plastic packaging will play a really critical role in doing that. Foods stored in baggies plastic bags always have the sound of freshness. In a new plastic decorator container. Put them in a polyethylene plastic bag. And to brighten up the plastic tree, plastic decorations. Nowadays, everything can be made in plastic. But here's the truth. Scientists are finding microplastics in our organs. Our brains may be full of plastic. Researchers found tiny plastic particles in human brain samples equal to about a plastic spoon's worth. In our bloodstream, even crossing into unborn children in the womb. And the chemicals released by these plastics don't just pass through. They disrupt hormones, damage cells, and accelerate disease. Some of those plastics are already associated with things like asthma or cancer or inflammation. So that's why I think this is a wake-up call. We have now found microplastics in the body. We don't know to what extent they're harmful, but we do know that components of these plastics already have been shown to be toxic. Not everything, but something. We were told plastic made life safer and cleaner, but what if the very thing designed to protect us is poisoning us instead. It was bound to happen that these microplastics are small enough, they are smaller than the diameter of our hair. It doesn't tell us too much about the risks yet, that we still have to understand where these particles, what happens to these particles in our body, and do they travel to certain organs, do they accumulate there, are they eliminated by the bile or the kidney, you know, so these are things that we still we are working on it now. So how did our culture become so plastic? Open your fridge, grab that plastic container, toss it in the microwave, done it a thousand times, right? We've all seen the label, BPA free. It sounds safe, like a stamp of approval. Being disposable, there are no empties to collect. Vinyl and asbestos on the floor. In fresh sun, sea, and sky colors. But here's the uncomfortable truth. BPA free doesn't mean harmless. It just means they replaced BPA with other chemicals, many of which may be just as dangerous. Bisphenol A is a chemical used to harden plastics and line food cans. It's known as an endocrine disruptor. It mimics estrogen in the body, throwing off hormone balance. Heating plastic accelerates leaching. Even BPA-free plastics can release chemicals like BPS and BPF, cousins of BPA, into your food. Studies show these alternatives may disrupt hormones in the same way. BPA-free doesn't mean your plastic is safe in the microwave. It just means it won't melt. What leaches out are invisible, tasteless, and end up in your body with every reheated meal. So that leftover you just nuked? It wasn't just dinner. It came with a side of hormone disruptors. The plastic didn't melt, but your body will pay the price anyway. Every day you wear it, polyester shirts, nylon leggings, fleece jackets, soft, stretchy, convenient. But what you may not realize is that these clothes aren't fabric at all, they're plastic. And your skin, the largest organ in your body, is in constant contact with it. Heat, sweat, and friction make it worse. Studies show tiny fibers can shed from your clothing and may be absorbed through your skin. Every wash breaks them down even further, sending microplastics into your laundry water, your home, and eventually back into your body through the food chain. 
clothes contain a wide range of chemicals, some of them potentially hazardous. And these chemicals, they don't just disappear when you wash the clothes either. They can stick around for years, posing risks to you or whoever's wearing them, causing a host of very serious health problems. Research shows a single polyester garment can shed thousands of fibers in one wash. These fibers pollute waterways and accumulate in seafood, salt, and even drinking water. While research is ongoing, studies suggest skin may absorb chemicals from plastics, especially when heated by sweat or friction. Additives like dyes and plasticizers in clothes can penetrate the skin barrier over time. What leaves your washing machine doesn't just disappear. It ends up in rivers, oceans, and soil, returning through the food you eat and the air you breathe. So the shirt on your back? It isn't just fashion. It's a plastic shell slowly shedding into your skin, your water, and your life. You don't just wear plastic, you become part of it. You don't have to chew on a straw or lick a bottle to eat plastic. It's already everywhere, invisible, tasteless, microscopic. Scientists have found plastic in bottled water, in sea salt, even in the air you breathe inside your home. Every inhale, every sip, Every bite carries traces of the plastic world we built. A 2018 study found that bottled water contains on average 325 plastic particles per liter. Even tea bags made of nylon can release billions of microplastics when steeped in hot water. Sea salt samples worldwide have been shown to contain microplastics, and seafood often carries them too, since fish ingest fibers shed from clothing and waste. Synthetic fibers from carpets, curtains, and clothing break off and float in household air. Studies estimate we inhale tens of thousands of microplastic particles every year. So while you think plastic is only a problem outside, it's already inside, slipping into your lungs with every breath, into your blood with every sip, and into your cells with every meal. Plastic isn't just polluting the planet, it's polluting you. Finding plastic in the ocean is scary, Finding it in your blood? Terrifying. But that's exactly what scientists have now discovered. Microplastics inside human bloodstreams, in lungs, even in the placenta of unborn babies. And the effects aren't just unsettling, they're dangerous. Chemicals like BPA, BPS, and phthalates mimic estrogen and disrupt testosterone, altering fertility, puberty, and even brain development. Studies link microplastics to lower sperm quality reduced egg health, and plastics have even been found in human placentas, meaning exposure begins before birth. Long-term exposure to plastic chemicals has been associated with higher risks of breast cancer, prostate cancer, and chronic inflammation, one of the root drivers of aging and disease. Animal studies show microplastics accumulate in the liver, kidneys, and intestines, causing oxidative stress and tissue damage. Early human studies suggest the same risks may apply. So plastic doesn't just wrap your food, it rewrites your biology. It sneaks past your defenses, hijacks your hormones, and leaves a toxic footprint in every organ it touches. The real plastic crisis isn't in the ocean, it's in us. Here's the bad news. Plastic is everywhere. In your kitchen, your clothes, your water, even the air you breathe. But here's the good news. You're not powerless. Every small change cuts down your exposure, and those choices add up. Store leftovers in glass or stainless steel. Never microwave food in plastic, even if it says BPA-free. Use stainless steel or glass bottles. Filter your tap water. Carbon or reverse osmosis systems can reduce microplastics. Swap polyester and nylon for cotton, hemp, or wool when you can. Wash synthetics less often and in cooler water to reduce fiber shedding. Say no to single-use plastics. Bring your own bag, cup, or straw. The less plastic you bring into your home, the less ends up in your body. You can't escape plastic completely, but you can fight back. Every glass bottle you choose, every cotton shirt you wear, every step you take away from plastic is a step toward protecting not just the planet, but your own body.